What is going on guys? It's March 20th. I'm finally back out on Lanier. It's actually my birthday today. So I got out here. It's a little after six to do some nighttime striper fishing. Basically going to hit those sand saddles, reef poles, uh, and also try to hit some lights once it gets dark out. Let me show you what I'm working with real quick. All right, I really have two setups. I have a, a 3,000 to 4,000 series, and then I got a small little 2,000 uh, 10 pound braid, 10 pound four carbon leader. This is a very small Rick Clune jerk bait right there. All right, here I got a pencil popper. Maybe try to throw a little top water. The water is actually at 60 degrees right now, almost 61, so that's pretty good. Uh, here's a bucktail. This is my homemade green apple color on eight pound fluorocarbon. Uh, right here I got a uh, Spro Blue uh, Rick Clune jerk bait that I really like on a little uh, 2000 pin battle. Over there I got another swim bait, a little small one though. Uh, and then I got the big boys here that I'm going to throw a little bit, which you have a 165 slow sinking Sabil Magic Swimmer. This is actually a knockoff 20 pound fluoro, 20 pound braid. Then a pink bubblegum bomber right here, 20 pound fluoro, 20 pound braid. Let's get after it. There we go. Now we're on. I think it's a, it's a spot, but hey, we'll take it. All right. Hooked up. This is on my homemade bucktail. Telling you, half ounce right here. You can just feel that it doesn't have those head shakes. Ooh, tell you what though, these spots love that bucktail, guys. Choked it. Jack Wilker, half ounce green apple bucktail, right in the top of the mouth. Pliers out for that one. I'll be damned. Not bad though, not bad at all. See, not too bad to talk. It's just that tough part of their mouth right there. Check them out, little fatty. All right, boys, we're at a new spot. We're gonna bust out the bubblegum bomber here. 29 feet, but as you can see, that's right there is pretty much what we call a sand saddle, right? There's a reef pole, there's land, there's an island over here, and boom! Look at those spots. I'm gonna have to get after them right now. I cannot wait a second longer. Holy cow, please make it that far! Man, these spots are up shallow. All right. Now we're downsizing our tackle. Oh. That was a stick or a hump. A stick or a fish. Yeah. There we go, we're on again. All right, another spot. Nice and shallow again. And it's like they're just locking on to it. It's weird. Another good size one though. Fat as I'll get out. The old Jack Wilker green apple bucktail. Big boy. Man. Man, look how fat he is, boys. That guy could probably get close to 
man, I don't know, four pounds almost. I mean, he is stout. I'd say a good three and a half. There's another one. Let's throw him back and try to get another one while we can. Yeah, I can see him chasing that bait. Oh, there we go. Back on him. Nice one. This one's got a little more attitude. The old bucktail strikes again. He hit it and then he came back after it. They are fun on this light tackle. These are some fat spots, guys. Look at that one. That one's longer. Man. Putting on a clinic here. Pretty fat, healthy spot. God, they almost remind you of like a, a saltwater fish, like a little gag grouper or something. Pretty cool. There they are again, I can see them. And I don't know if you guys can, but they're over there swirling on some bait. There we go. They're not crushing it. Almost feels like your lure's getting there we go, got another one. Like your lure's getting hung. There we go. This is awesome, dude. Three pound, three pound, four pound spots on light tackle on my homemade bucktail, guys. I'll take it all day long. I will take it all day long. Ooh. Man, another one. And no, this ain't the same one because we saw him and his buddies over there cranking on him. Plus, he's got some weird look at that weird little pattern that coloration there that's weird it's cool though all right buddy thank you Let's see if we can get one over there see if i had one sitting underneath my boat the whole time to keep my reel moving so I don't get it hung up. There we go. Nice. Nice. They are all over this. These stumps right here in this about five foot of water. And they are all fat.
Get your butt down. Ah, trophy spots, dude. I would have to win the tournament if I was a uh, bass fisherman. Look at this, guys. Crushing them out here. There we go. There we go again. He's charging the boat. He didn't know he was huh, hooked up. Dude, this is a monstrous school on this thing. That's the smallest one right there. That's not bad. Look at that, guys. I mean, they are just everywhere right here. This is awesome. This is awesome. Let me go back over that one. There we go. I knew it. knew it you had to do that jerk and pause Ooh. Dude. look at these things they're tanks they're absolute tanks look at that guy absolute tank right there tell you what this lake as a spotted bass fishery has improved tremendously over the years I mean just the size of these fish guys look at that thing look at that right there I mean that's a nice fish we just crushing them tonight There we go. It's good nighttime striper fishing. I'll do the nighttime spot fishing. <laughs> Alright guys, another fatty. Alright guys, I'm back here checking out my very first green light. As you've seen, we've already crushed some spotted bass. Let's see if this green light has some fish. Stay tuned.